Hi everyone, I'm Bonnie from Really Reasonable Ribbon and Make Time to Craft. Today I'm back with my Bow It All version 2.0 and I'm going to teach you how to make a quick and easy shabby bow. These bows are great for autumn and Halloween themed projects as well as being fabulous for vintage and shabby chic style projects when a perfectly formed loopy bow just doesn't work out for the style. Behind the board I have some samples of the shabby bows and they were all made with ribbon styles from the August and September ribbon club assortments from Really Reasonable Ribbon. The card on the left was made with this brown satin with grosgrain edge. The one in the center is the Kiwi Delicate Stitch Satin from the September assortment and the card on the right shows one with the black hound's tooth from the September assortment which is the one we're going to make today. These monthly color and holiday themed assortments from Really Reasonable Ribbon are a great way to build your ribbon stash. So today we're going to be creating this black shabby bow using black hound's tooth ribbon from the Halloween themed September Ribbon Club assortment. For this bow, you want to use a double-faced ribbon, meaning a ribbon that has no front and back. It's, it's the same. There are two good sides to the ribbon. If you had a good side, a printed side, and an unfinished side on the back, there'd be no way to hide or twist it so that only the good side would show. Today I have the pegs set at four and a half and six inches to create a one and a half inch wide bow. And I'm using a, about a 14 inch piece of five eighths inch ribbon. The bow today, we're gonna do two loops on each side because this ribbon is a little heavier and that will work fine. The bow in the middle I, is a little bit lighter weight and so I use three loops on each side. So you'd want a little bit longer piece before you start. So we're going to start with the ribbon behind the pegs at the cut end on my left side, the working end on my right, and we are going to just wrap in our figure eight pattern until I have two loops on each side. Once we have the two loops on each side, I'm going to take the working ribbon in my right hand and go through the middle and the cut end on the left side I am going to fold the edges in the way I usually do because I like a narrower center on my bows. We're going to cross the ribbon over and the ribbon in my left hand is going to come over and down through the middle and out the back. Now we're going to switch hands to create the locking c-knot making a loop with the ribbon in my left hand and my right hand is going to go over through the loop and out the right side. And there doesn't need to be too much adjustment with this bow because it, it is a shabby look so we don't have to worry about creating the perfect loops for this bow. So I'm just going to rock. I, I do want the center to be as centered as possible though. So we're going to rock it back and forth and get my knot as tight as I can. And when I'm satisfied I can pull the bow up and off the pegs. At this point we just have to trim the loops. I'm going to cut the tails on a diagonal and I want it to be about the same length as the loops because there really is no tail on this bow. It's just going to blend in and become another loop. Okay so the tails are cut and now for the loops, the way I do it is I cut a diagonal on each loop just to cut the loops opened. And I usually start like at the middle and go down. And what that does is it gives you a top layer that's a little bit shorter than the back layer. And then I just go the other direction. Any way you want to do it is fine. It's shabby look, so it's up to you. So once you get them trimmed, the only other thing you have to do is fray the ends as much or as little as you want and your fingernail is the best tool for that job. And 
and just quickly do all of your little loops. Well, they're not loops anymore. All of your snipped loops. And once you have it frayed to your liking, you are done and it's ready to attach to your card. Isn't that the simplest bow we've made to date? If you're new to the to the bow at all and you're feeling a little frustrated, make yourself some shabby bows. This you cannot go wrong with this bow. Thanks so much for joining me and learning how to create this fun and easy new bow. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be notified when I add new videos. Thanks for stopping by and happy bow making.